Aside from our previous video, there is still some information you need to know about French Angora. Housing. It's important to make sure that the base of the hutch is solid and not made out of wire to prevent sore hocks. Add a thick layer of bedding on the floor and spot clean as necessary with a complete weekly replacement. In most cases, keeping one rabbit per hutch is the easiest way to avoid fights, unless they've been bonded at a young age. With wool breeds, such as French Angoras, housing them together can cause static when their wool rubs against each other, causing matting. French Angoras can also be pastured on the ground in pens. However, if you're keeping multiple rabbits, your space will have to be quite large to accommodate individual pens as this is the only way you can keep your rabbits from fighting. Furthermore, allowing French Angoras to come in contact with dirt and grass can lead to difficult grooming issues, making their coat useless. Whether you decide to keep your rabbit indoors or out, make sure it has plenty of time outside its enclosure to play freely and interact. Your yard should be fenced and protected from other animals and neighborhood pets if you're letting your rabbit roam around outside. Health French Angoras need plenty of time outside of their enclosures with their human family to become well-socialized bunnies. Due to their thick, dense fur, French Angoras are most susceptible to wool block. Rabbits are clean creatures and as such, they groom themselves often. Rabbits tend to swallow a small amount of fur every time they groom themselves however unlike cats, they cannot regurgitate their wool. The wool grows and grows inside their bellies, making them feel full or unable to eat. Symptoms of wool block include a loss of appetite, fewer droppings, and an overall less energetic bunny. Always keep an eye on how much your rabbit is eating and if you suspect your rabbit is experiencing a wool block, take them to your local veterinarian immediately. Like other rabbits, angoras also are at risk for overgrown teeth, which can grow into their jaws and face, causing immense pain. A balanced diet consisting mostly of hay should be enough to prevent wool block, as well as overgrown teeth. This can be spayed when they are as young as 4 months, however, veterinarians tend to wait until the female rabbit is 6 months old just to be safe, the older they are, the less risk the surgery poses. Bucks can be neutered as young as 3 and a half months old. French Angoras can live up to an average of 7 to 12 years. You can expand your rabbit's lifespan and improve its quality of life by neutering or spaying it. This reduces its risk of reproductive system complications. Overheating French Angoras have stunning, dense woolly coats that help keep them and humans warm. However, this increases their risk of overheating in warmer months. Your rabbit may be overheating if it lays sprawled and is breathing rapidly. Its ears may also be red and warm. According to the Food and Agriculture of the United Nations, rabbit ears have a radiator effect. The ideal temperature range for a French Angora is 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Never keep French Angoras in the hot sun. How's your Angora indoors if temperatures go above 75 degrees Fahrenheit? You must also provide access to cool, shady areas for your rabbit to rest in. It's important to keep your French Angora well-groomed. The more wool they have on their bodies, the more likely they are to overheat in the summer. You can keep your rabbit cool by placing frozen bottles of water near its resting area. French Angoras make good pets for people with some rabbit keeping experience. They can also be used for breeding, showing, and wool production. Their calm and friendly nature, combined with their love for being handled and petted, makes them an excellent breed for people looking for an animal companion. Wool Block Rabbits have a self-grooming process to keep themselves clean. As their coats start to shed, they ingest more loose fibers than they do when they aren't molting. Because French Angoras have denser, thicker coats, they're more likely to ingest large amounts of fur. Rabbits lack the ability to regurgitate swallowed fiber. Therefore, the accumulation of wool in the stomach can block a rabbit's intestines and overall digestion. This can cause your rabbit to stop eating and drinking because it feels too full. Common signs and symptoms of the wool block in French Angoras include loss of appetite, loss of thirst, lack of urination, small, dry, or infrequent feces, string of pearls feces due to strands of wool running through fecal pellets, and lethargy. Always keep an eye on how much your French Angora is eating. A wool block is a serious condition that can lead to death. Wool block can be prevented by regularly grooming your rabbit and removing all loose fibers. This reduces your rabbit's risk of ingesting wool. Increasing its water intake can also help as it boosts the motility of your rabbit's digestive tract. Care requirements. Whether you decide to keep your French Angora rabbit indoors or out, all pet rabbits need plenty of time outside of their enclosures and with their human family to become well-socialized bunnies. This means taking them out of their enclosure to let them roam around freely in your home or outside in your fenced yard where they are protected from other animals and escapes into a neighbor's yard. Outdoor rabbits should have sturdy enclosures that are raised from the ground in order to protect them from predators such as raccoons, wolves, and coyotes. 
They should also have a ramp that descends onto the fenced bottom floor so they can feel soft grass or ground beneath their feet whenever they please. Indoor rabbits should have plastic enclosures that are large enough for them to easily stretch out their long bodies, and still have plenty of room left over. Skip wire cages, which are uncomfortable and can hurt your rabbit's feet in the long run. Opt to have bedding line the bottom of your rabbit's enclosure, while it does take a little more time to maintain, it will make your bunny happier. Be sure to spot clean the cage and remove droppings daily and completely replace the bedding every week. Finally, a rabbit's diet should consist mostly of good quality hay, about 70%, with the remainder being a balance of fruits, vegetables, pellets, and leafy greens. Be sure to talk to your local veterinarian to find out which kind of rabbit food is best for every stage of your bunny's life, as younger rabbits have a more specific diet than older ones. Your rabbit can be given an unlimited amount of pellets and alfalfa hay until it reaches 6 months, following which you'll have to limit your pet's pellet intake and switch over to Timothy hay. Temperament The French Angora rabbit was originally bred for two particular uses, meat and wool purposes. However, that isn't to say that they don't also make excellent pets so long as they are given plenty of love, attention, and affection. Angoras as a whole are docile, sweet rabbits who love to hop around freely, whether indoors or out. The more time they spend socializing out of their enclosures, the friendlier and sweeter they become. Like humans, every rabbit has its own distinct personalities and when they are exposed to humans, their personalities really flourish. They do well with couples who are ready to take the leap into pet parenthood as well as families who have older children who understand how to handle larger animals such as rabbits. Unlike other pets such as dogs and cats, rabbits are a little bit trickier to litter train. With lots of time, patience and rewards, rabbits can be potty trained but it takes much longer than other pets. Instead of using just one litter box, try to spread a couple around the house so they won't be tempted to do it in a corner because they cannot hold it in. When rabbit parents find that their bunny tends to do their business where they are not supposed to, such as their favorite corner in the living room, they put a litter box in that particular area and sometimes, that is enough to make the rabbit understand that this is where they need to do the deed. However, rabbits do enjoy to have some toys like any other animal does, else they may go and gnaw on something they aren't supposed to, like your brand new shoes. Choose rabbit safe toys or rabbit safe blocks of wood to entertain your rabbit and your new heels should get away scot-free. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.